we've gotten so trained to focus on our body being what's within a so-called skin line, that that repetition of assuming, believing in, relating as if we're a separate someone packaged within a, a skin suit has been how we started to relate with one another. And so this repetition of how we were trained to relate and then we adopted that type of relating as a subject-object oriented relating. It's a subject-object oriented perception when really the power to perceive is always on. It never changes. And this is an aspect of our intelligence that is so crucial to acknowledge instinctively. So right from the beginning in balanced view, it is acknowledged that the power to know, our alert, clear power to know, that's always on and unflinching, must be acknowledged, must be instinctively acknowledged. Not just a concept that we're all one, but instinctively. And how can we do that? How can we instinctively acknowledge our seamless intelligence, our seamless body, like the space of space is seamless and open and inexhaustible? And so uh, the simple request, the simple invitation to stop thinking for just one moment Acknowledge the alertness that's obvious, whether <clears throat> there's a thought or no thought. The all-pervasive, unflinching, alert, clear knowing is, is unstoppable. It's unstopped. You can't turn it on or off. This is so crucial to acknowledge. And because we repeatedly focused on only one aspect of our intelligence, the dynamic display of, a, of appearances, sounds, and uh, subject-object descriptions in a, in a world, a so-called world, then that's how we oriented. And that is a really limited orientation. We didn't even realize that we were training in a limited orientation when it's always a wide open intelligence that is our view, our inseparable view, like the sky and the color blue are inseparable. And so the short moment, the short moment that's introduced and in stop thinking for just a moment is, is, a, is an introduction to instinctive open intelligence. And we use, utilize the term open intelligence as a way to communicate, but the, it's communicated in a symbolic and non-symbolic way. So the obviousness of the term open intelligence with the instinctive realization of open intelligence is the empowerment of the obviousness of our indivisible intelligence. And the other ways that this can become obvious instinctively is simply immersing in any of the resources on the website, the books, the videos, the audios, and being in uh, open meetings, clarity calls, uh, listening to massive vibe music. Uh, these are all powerful ways that evoke the obviousness of open intelligence, instinctive, always on, clear alert knowing. And, and then we recognize that, wow, we, whenever we remember, we can take a short moment. And there's some aspects of day-to-day -day life that for some it's easier to remember, to acknowledge a short moment of open intelligence amidst challenging, so-called challenging circumstances, when we really want help, so to speak. And uh, that's when we usually have utilized other strategies to know that this is our go-to now. This is our, our reset. Our complete openness is our powerful uh, vantage for beneficial responsiveness. And not just for ourselves, but for everyone. And so the uh, 
training that we adopted, of training in short moments of focusing only on one aspect of our intelligence, was a training as well. But the results of that training are a limited relating with oneself and everyone and everything. A very uh, shallow, very um, hollow way of relating because there's no acknowledgement of our, our vast, open, beneficial nature in, a, in an obvious way that we don't even have to think about. So we trained in, heavily trained in, rigorously trained in, avoiding, indulging, or replacing our thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences. And so that's where we have self-induced a perspective of suffering, self-induced suffering. And that is completely unnecessary. Most people don't realize that they can live a life completely stress-free, completely responsive, in a beneficial way, in every single circumstance. And so this is, uh, it really requires openness, requires openness to investigate, to be open to uh, the support, the empowerment of resources and a community of friends around the world that are, are also implementing a lifestyle that's committed to the benefit of all. And trainers that are completely dedicated their entire life to all beings living and thriving together in a completely natural way. And so if we're open to uh, a lifestyle that's natural, that's grounded in immediate and long-term benefit, that's grounded in the results of, of flourishing and in the, in the nourishment of of a, a global community that's taking a stand for who we really are, because it really comes down to a grassroots uh, uh, establishment of people who are really ready and open to say, we're not willing to live a lifestyle that we have until now. And I, I take responsibility for the education that I adopted, and now I'm taking responsibility for an education that guarantees me and everyone, everywhere, immediate and long-term benefit. So I was willing to show up because I saw the uh, example in my trainer. I knew without having any words for it ever, even, the obviousness of a stability and an openness and a responsiveness in every circumstance that I had never seen in anyone before, not consistently like that. So I was totally willing to implement, to show up to the uh, resources that are available. And initially I just tested the waters, you know, slowly. And then the more I saw the value and the benefit that I wasn't really even looking for, that I didn't even know was an option, maybe I glimpsed it here and there within my life, and I, I, I definitely uh, enjoyed it, but I didn't know it could be 24-7 for everyone everywhere. And so when that was uh, the guarantee of the algorithm of the, of the Four Mainstays of Open Intelligence, I'm happy to, happy to, whenever I remember, rely on short moments until it goes continuous 24-7. And that's the guarantee, a guarantee of always increasing benefit in every single aspect of one's life, in every single relationship, so that we're actually empowered to contribute in the most incredible ways that we're most passionate about. And so we're really actually acknowledging, in every short moment, we're acknowledging our true body, our body of inexhaustible openness that has no edges or borders, that includes the everyone and everything, including the environment of, of this planet and all planets and every cosmos, and, and acknowledging the vastness 
and the unique shimmer of all of us simultaneously. But what we can keep it simple with is, to, is short moments whenever we remember. And that grounds us in our responsibility to really enjoy a life that's natural and completely alive with spontaneous benefit with, with everyone. So we, we, we then we relate with everyone like we're taking great care with our body and, and, and the environment and the animals. It's, it's incredible. And this is so obvious how we're going to come to make the uh, shifts that are required for us to, to thrive together rather than annihilate one another. But it really starts with complete openness, moment by moment, with the current circumstance, complete openness. That's the, the spacious body of responding with complete benefit, ever-increasing benefit. So it's an amazing adventure, totally incredible adventure that has no end. So we, uh, we are very fortunate, and everyone that is ready and open is incredibly fortunate because then we're participating and contributing to magnetizing a, a uprising for all beings everywhere and, and to see and live together in a way that we're meant to. Natural benefit 